Well, the owner didn't want to be on camera, but he told me they had metal gates, bollards blocking the entrance, as well as security cameras and alarms. But none of that stopped the thieves from breaking in. It's become an unfortunately common occurrence. A truck smashed into Green Lady Pot Shop near Linwood on Monday. You're just destroying property at this point. That same day, a truck drove into a Home Depot in Kitsap County. The vehicle was later found torched. On Wednesday, two thieves rammed a truck through the storefront of Pantel Tactical in Renton, causing $15,000 in damage. The bandits swiped ammunition and night vision goggles, but no guns were stolen. This store did a, a really good job of making sure that they were well protected. The store had secured all the guns in a safe. There were metal gates behind the windows. Bollards out front damaged the truck, and the suspects had to leave it at the store. Jason Chuddy with the ATF says it would have been a lot worse if firearms were stolen. You know, there's going to be nothing to stop somebody who really wants to get into a building and get something from getting them. Here you go. Mona Lisa Perez owns the restaurant next to Pantel Tactical and has also been broken into. It's going to keep happening because, like I said, they're not afraid of anything anymore. This is a really important problem across our state and it's time for there to be solutions. On Tuesday, the Association of Washington Business and other organizations sent a joint letter to legislators asking them to address rising crime rates. My members lost $2.7 billion in the product last year, 2.7 billion. And what they don't realize is that's $270 million in uncollected sales tax that is lost. The owner tells me an eco block is being put in this weekend in front of the store and business associations I talked to told me the main options here are bollards, wire cages that you can put rocks into or roll down security gates. But depending on the city or county that you live in, that could require additional permitting. Here in Brenton, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.